Good evening, everyone. I am so happy that we've gotten to this point. <laughs> um, all the presentations were very, very good. I thought they were very interesting and very diverse. Um, we did not have very much time to do our presentation, so we did a series of pictures to explain the school that has the special needs. Um, St. Martin's Dugenheim was founded by the Catholic sisters Kreuzschwester von Bingen um, through the principles of Hildegard von Bingen 101 years ago. This, bill, this area that you see here is the Förderschule, the special needs school. Above it, the big building, is the elementary school. They work hand in hand together and actually integrate the, um, up from the starting of the second grade, very, very slowly, special needs children with elementary school children. Um, through COVID, we had a little bit of a problem and they kind of separated, but they are starting to think about doing it again. Regardless to this, um, the center itself is for individuals for special needs, and in 1966, the boarding school, Förderschule St. Martins, that I just showed you down here, um, was started and has today 117 students who are either autistic and physically disabled and or persons with behavioral dis disabilities. Momentarily, there are 77 persons living on the campus. The campus is a huge area of <laughs> I really don't know how big it is, but you could easily put, you could easily, it's, it's just extremely huge. They have a football field, they have a swimming pool, they have houses for their disability groups, and um, it's very amazing. Um, 40 of those uh, students live at home with their families and are picked up every day with special buses extra made from them for handicapped wheelchairs or whatever. Um, additionally to the campus, there is housing for family-oriented groups. That means there are really houses on this campus and these adults live in these houses and go to work every day and they're called groups. Um, there are seven children youth groups. They, the school takes on babies till they're 22 years old, and then they go into these housing units. What they have done um, over the years, which is amazing, there are over 400 special needs um, individuals that are overseed by the St. Martin's School or Center in the Eiffel region where we come. The Eiffel region is between Frankfurt and Copeland, uh, Cologne, probably in the middle, on the Rhine and Mosul River. We have a huge area that um, um, they live within the community. To the year 2000, in the township where I live in, they started doing this and have slowly, over the last 22 years, have bought houses within the area of the Eiffel region, and these people are now integrated into our system. At the beginning, a lot of people were, oh, I don't want to touch them, or I don't want to look at them. But what has happened over these years is people have accepted them. In fact, I have, in an apartment behind my house, two gentlemen, they still have their Christmas lights on. They're wonderful people, and we talk to them, and we integrate with them, which is very, very neat. And there's another house at her place. <laughs> um, and the, it is, it's constantly growing. Um, the principal of the school is Yuta here, and um, 
she and then of course we have Inga Maria, our artist for this half year. Musa has started already in October. The first half year we had a um, a actress from the city of Copelands, from the theater of Copelands, and she did a wonderful project with the children um, doing a shadow box um, figures. And at first the children were very, very, oh, I can't do this and I can't do this. And slowly they moved into it and it just expanded and it showed how wonderful theater, like Italy was talking about and also Hungary was talking about, it is a wonderful experience for them to actually express themselves. Um, Eva Maria is going to be in the special needs school, um, Förderschule St. Martins, Birmingham for the next six months, six months, and she's doing cartoon art. It's a visual way of having their all everyday experiences done, and we're kind of excited to see what she's going to do, and if we're going to try to implement this in our ideas. Um, the school has 16 classes. Each class has six to eight students from six to 22 years of age. Um, the needs of every student is individually fostered, meaning that after their normal school studies, math, German, science, the children have extra, extra uh, activities such as horseback riding, dog animal therapy, physical therapy, <coughs> swimming, and teach therapy for um, autistic, autistic um, people. Um, the, let's see. Um, our vision for this project, the school works with another um, special needs school. They communicate with each other and we are thinking about using the special needs school and the other school is actually for just learning disabled children to integrate them and their families together. And they there is only a distance of three kilometers between these schools. So it is actually possible to integrate them and um, see if we can do something in this action. Um, There's another school, but it's much farther away. We do not know if we can get this school to um, participate, but we are going to try. Uta's going to try to talk to the principals. That's what our goal is. Um, we are trying to bundle their emotions and to let them translate their feelings through the arts because we realize that all the different types of arts um, is missing in Germany. It's, it's actually, um, you do not see um, special needs persons in theaters or um, I don't know how it is in your countries, but we realize that um, museums, to see them actually participate and see what we see every day or we do every day, um, would be very, very important and we would like to um, maybe have them visit the theater in Koblenz or the theater in Tria and to have them go backstage and to feel the costumes and maybe put them on even if it's possible. I mean, these are things that we would really like to get them out into the community more through the arts. Um, the integration is uh, basically what we have. The school, Förderschule St. Martin Stürmenheim, has a festival every in the, in the summertime, and it's called Spielebegegnungsfest, which, which is translated in play and meet the community. Everyone is, is invited to come to the festival, and what we would like to do um, to, we would like to do a permanent connection 
on this festival with movement and the arts and have a, after the, the two years, have a half a year from the different, the different arts. We would like to bring that together for one theme or different themes and then have the community see what moves in and what we have done with the project as a whole. That's what our vision is momentarily. We're, at, we're still looking, <laughs> let's put it that way. Really nice. So. Really nice. It's like uploading uh, my birth uh, date certificate. It won't have any value. Um, I'm encouraging you to my birthday certificate is German. Yeah, I know. But should I tell them what really happened here? No. <laughs> it's the excuse group. Okay. So please bear that in mind and take into account that any any document needs these official logos. And uh, well, uh, we thank you all for your participation today. We have two missing uh, activities for tomorrow, which is going to be Belgium and Portugal. And then we will close the meeting with the evaluation of, of the activities. Yeah, of course. And there's going to be also a very specific meeting about how to use our website because it's going to be the only way to gather as a family of Emocionarte family. Um, uh, uh, anything that relates to Emocionarte has to be uploaded to on, on the website. That's uh, a must. So uh, 
take into account this very important message because tomorrow you might have many doubts and don't leave Madrid or Miraflores de la Sierra uh, without at least asking to solve those doubts. Um, we might not give you an answer, but we need uh, those, those questions. Um, uh, remember the quality of the different presentations because you have to evaluate them. Don't write your names up on the evaluation form because I don't want to, to know who did what but I always like to remember your writing. So uh, in future evaluations, I would love to see who spoke very well about mine. I don't care about you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, A ver, no hemos llegado a ese extremo, pero intentamos siempre que mantengamos. Nosotros en los documentos comunes sí que mantenemos una estructura. Si lo podemos decir, tenemos todo el mismo, la misma estructura. Y para dejar un espacio libre, que es el logo para que de la dignidad. Ok, perfecto. Hemos sobrevivido y survived a un día intenso, pero. El encuentro, el, pues su trabajo ha terminado, pero si queréis, a las 8 os invitamos al cine, porque vamos a ver algunos vídeos de buenas prácticas del trabajo que estamos haciendo en España. Esto es aquí, pero es totalmente eh, voluntario. Okay, your work finished right now, but at 8 o'clock we are going to show some good practices video of the different uh, workshops that we implement in Spain. And we invite you to come, even though it's absolutely a voluntary assistance. You don't have to, you don't want to. Okay, thank you very much.